Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This is uh, my Garmin Phoenix 5X and today we're going to have a little look at um, creating a workout and what to do to make one. So um, I, if you've ever looked at workouts you can do it on your phone or you can also um, you can do it on the PC. Um, they're equally um, as easy or as not easy to do um, on the phone as well as the PC. But um, here we go, we've had a, a nice little um, update here um, from Garmin of the, uh, of the interface. Um, I've uh, subscribed for the, uh, for the beta um, of this so you get um, more and more updates. I don't know, it might be a little bit more buggy, but uh, giving it a go anyway. So I quite like the new interface, it uh, seems quite nice. Um, the way that they set out what you did uh, today and then you can also see yesterday and then a uh, bit of a seven day average on there, which is quite cool. Um, right, okay, let's get into this. So, workouts. So, you go into the workout, and you press the plus here up the top, and you can decide what your, what kind of workout you're gonna do. So, I think quite commonly, people are gonna be making um, workouts for strength and cardio, because running, um, I don't know, I don't know whether you really kind of set up a running workout or biking workout, I suppose if you want to do interval training, those sorts of things, then you you know, you know might want to set it up on your watch for timing, um, either distances or times, but um, I imagine strength and cardio are going to be fairly popular. So it kind of starts off with this default sort of setup here um, of a warm-up workout and cool-down, um, which seems fairly easy in itself. Um, you can click on uh, warm up and then you can add notes or like the, the name of it. Um, you can uh, pick what type of exercise and you can do a search. There are hundreds of exercises all uh, listed in here. Um, and then you can uh, put a weight that's associated with the exercise. Um, and then what what is quite interesting, this, this is where, um, this is kind of like the nitty gritty bit of the um, of the workout is that you set your target by um, reps time so reps really you're just going to be counting yourself um, and then sort of uh, you know to click it on your on your watch to the next uh, next point of when you've done the rep so it'll remind you what the reps are um, say it's like 10 reps and then you do I don't know 10 sit-ups or 10 press -ups, whatever or you can set it to a time so you want to do this activity for two minutes five minutes whatever um, or you can do it by laps and then just press the button. Calories, which is quite a nice one, I think, is the fact that you can set a target, say, um, I want to do this activity and burn uh, 10 calories. Or if you're on a warm up, which is very good, um, heart rate. So I'm warming up and I'm going to start then my activities once I've got my heart rate up to X. So it's quite good um, that you've got these um, different sort of settings. I'd like to be able to see on a workout. Um, uh, reps where you could potentially map a movement so the reps are automatically counted there are some apps out there for phones where you hold your phone and you do squats or you do sit-ups and it will count the reps for you obviously push-ups and things like that oh no push-ups you can because it uses the uh, the sensor on your phone um, you're not going to be able to do that on your watch um, but uh, I don't know maybe a combination between the watch and the phone something like that sort of area would be, um, would be, would be quite cool so there you go, so that you can set up your target type um, for your warm up, your workout and your cool down. So there's nothing different really in those in the way that you set up those menus um, on all of those. So you can use any activity as a cool down or as a warm up. You know, you could use um, doing press ups as a warm up. <laughs> I don't know, whatever it is that you want to warm up. Um, and then you just keep um, adding uh, steps. So. Um, and then you add a step in, you can hold and then move them up and down, like this. The only thing that I found was a bit annoying, um, uh, which would be nice to see if they bring it on a future update, is it would be nice if you could, and this is the same with the PC as well as the um, as the phone, because I checked out on the PC, you can't do a copy and paste. So you can't say, uh, do a workout, um, uh, th then do uh, sort of a, a cool down or something for a little bit, and then, copy and paste another workout and cool down what you can do is add a repeat so uh, but you kind of need to do that at the beginning so if you know you're going to do three sets of something you need to add repeat so you go into repeat and then you say how many times you're going to do 
um, these and this puts it like in its own um, little box there you can see like the box around it um, and you can add uh, no you can't uh, we can move that into into the repeat can we no it won't yeah well there you go so you can add extras in the repeat so now that will repeat two times or however many times that you want to do it three times four times so you can do that but you kind of need to know that you want to do that rather than copy and pasting it every single time so um, then once you're done uh, you save give it a give it a name whatever it's going to be but then here's the other thing as well is that you need to make sure that when you tap on that then then you press on the little icon up there to make sure it syncs to your um, syncs back to your Phoenix watch and then it will sync to this um, and then that means then uh, when you choose your activity you can um, you can say you're going to do something like strength but then in there you, so you can do like a free uh, strength session um, or now you can pick the uh, the workout and there we go fairly fairly straightforward fairly easy um, it takes a little bit of um, setting up and a bit of time but if you're you know if you're going to be doing something for like the next six weeks or ten weeks and you want to kind of um, stick with the same sort of thing um, you know four or five minutes to do a very simple uh, workout regime I'll put multiple ones in there you can change them day by day there, unfortunately there doesn't seem to be a system where you can kind of pre-map out um, day by day um, on the workout system um, there are some softwares out there that um, that do kind of do that and sort of set it up um, uh, via sort of Strava and things where you set out a working regime so um, I don't know, I'll have to uh, have a little bit more of a look around on the Garmin website and hopefully that uh, somebody's going to put something up on there that may make um, a kind of uh, you know, kind of a, a, a workout kind of map over over a calendar um, and that'd be nice to see it'll have to sort of take a bit of the time and effort out of setting one of these up or you can get sort of predetermined ones rather than um, just making them up custom uh, by yourself so uh, there we go thank you very much for watching hope this has been used to uh, somebody on setting up um, their uh, um, setting up their workouts and um, if this has been any help to you then uh, you know give us the old like thanks a lot for again for watching Hope to catch you next time. Cheers. Bye.